Yo, it's Stupidly Small Summercast on New Year's Day 2015. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's not morning time. It's a little bit later in the day than normal. Stew. Well, it's not actually this morning. Is it? I don't even know what time it is. I have been to bed. Hello, Lauren Clark. How are you going? <laughs> I'm Stuart Farrell. And we oh, welcome... I'm glad you know who you are. That's a oh, nice start. Oh, yes, and we welcome in a new um, year. Mm. And it feels like the afternoon. I know it is definitely morning because the sun's just coming up. But yeah. uh, it does feel like it is still 2014 and not much has changed, Lauren Clark. That is the depressing thing, isn't it? That once you get that beautiful metaphor of change, renewal and blah, 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 renewal. you stumble face first well, into the new year. The new and year go, probably start about the third. I feel terrible. I get, technically, January. it kind of does, doesn't it? It does, yeah. These few of... days, they don't count for anything. No. These are the days where you can just – you can watch dumb – TV that you wouldn't, you know, you can just... I watch dumb TV all the time. No, but like... Actually, I don't. I can't handle it. Although, I have been watching a lot of um, auction... Have you noticed on television... Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Um, there's, there's seriously, uh, on Seven Mate, I think it's on a Monday, mm. there's like a string of about four shows. Auction, uh, no, porn stars, about a porn shop. Yeah. Um, garage sale guys or something, auction dudes, and now there's a new one advertising for this year. It's called Seven Mate. Yeah, Seven Mate. So what um, do you think? About lost that? luggage and people that vote for lost luggage. Who votes for lost uh, luggage? They, they, um, what, they, what do you call it? Auction. Auction for that. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like the people who go and buy... You know, lots. They buy garage lots. And yeah. They're, they're, um, storage units, yeah, basically. Well, there's, there's, yeah. a show, there's a show called Storage Wars. Yeah. And they've got these guys, um, you know, and they always seem to find some gun. or, But the the quality of television. Now, we, we're day one in 2015, <laughs> and this is the first thing we talk about. <laughs> I'll tell you why the quality of television is as low as it is. Yes, please. Did you happen to see the crowds in Melbourne City for New Year's Eve? Like, what possesses people mm. to go out in force yeah. to a place that you try and avoid at the best of times, let alone yeah. on New Year's Eve where it's amateur hour or amateur yeah. night. Yeah. And you're standing there on the Yarra yeah. to watch some fireworks go off. Yeah. And then you go home on public, you know, or you get your head punched in. Yeah. Or you get, you know, there's nothing good happens in the city on New Year's Eve, surely. Isn't New Year's Eve though famously the biggest anti-climax that ever antied or climaxed? Yeah, I you think know. it's uh, the best one, of course, was uh, 15 years ago, the Millennium Bug one or 14, 15. Oh, I, yeah, I can't whatever do the it was, yeah. And I, I, I was working the door of a club in the city right. at the time uh, in my days as a security um, officer. And uh, Jeez, I would not want hmm. to. Oh, I Not show my card to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you just and be... it was such a fizzer. Was it, it a fizzer? Yeah, it was a fizzer. It so was people a believed night. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, people, th- people thought the world was going to end. Yeah, they really did. My mate flew around the world for like a dollar fifty that night and stuff. How does that work? Because nobody oh, wanted to get the on the airplane. They were going to drop out of the sky. Yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, these are the people that they're making these television programs for. I can guarantee you. The people that go in to watch the fireworks. Why? And, and not the kids' Why? ones so much, but the, the adult fireworks are the same people that get turned on by a program called Storage Wars or Garage Sale Hunters or something. You know there'll be people listening who will go, I secretly listen to that or watch that or whatever. I just admitted I watched them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Only because so do you imagine- Q&A has dropped off so much. But it, it's, it's forced me to go to Storage Wars. So hang on. Or porn You think lockers. that there are people – see, this is interesting because you are making the presumption mm-hmm. that there are people who are watching Storage Wars in a different way from how you're watching it, that they're watching it in a really engaged, impassioned, I've got to tune in on Tuesday or Monday or whatever because it's Storage Wars time. Probably not. There could I, don't, be I think it must be a whole lot of people like you. I must, I must admit, I think it's a show called American Pickers and uh, they, they travel the – the countryside and then go to these really small towns and they find these obscure individuals in quirky little uh, buildings yeah. that have just collected stuff yeah. their whole lives and they then they try and sell buy it from them and they on sell it in their own store. Um, or was that they called Auction Hunters? I don't know. I can't remember. Right. But um, that show yeah. is good. Yeah. And there's another one called American Restorations. See, American Restorations. you're into it. You well, are into it. Yeah, but you know what you notice? From about 9pm, they start jamming the ads in, so it's it's less show, more ads, so you just drift off. So you, you don't right. get to watch much anyway. I can't watch advertising. Advertising's for the, you know, the, the lowest of the low. 
Well, Hello to all our copywriting friends out there. And <laughs> no, but I think that, I think people who work in advertising these days kind of know that. They're working in a different – I mean, advertising now, if you're doing the kind of ads that would genuinely make money, um, they're not the kind of shouty ads that are on in the middle of repeat shows on second-rate TV shows, you know. Uh, they're just not. SBS, we were only going to show quality ads when – the Liberal government allowed them to do advertising. Was that only, the claim, was it? It was only going to be high end. It was only going to be not during programs, in between programs, and it was all. And there was going to be a specific limit. And now all that's been lifted. Now you're getting screamy ads. You're getting them during programs, and the, I'm sure the some, hourly rate has lifted. I think we should have some music for when you kick into old oh man. Let me tell you how it used to be style. Oh, well, you tell me you you don't miss the days uh, of SBS being ad free. Absolutely. Absolutely you know? no, I'm not at and all. What has I agree it with you. Budget-wise, nothing. They're still slicing um, those the, both of those channels to pieces. Yeah. Um, they're still, you know, we saw late last year, just before Christmas, they were cutting house, housing department and the welfare department. Like they cut, cut, cut to the people that can't have it. What's interesting with that? You're talking about how Scott Morrison got the... So his first order of business. His first order of business was mm. to go in and and start telling homeless organisations that represent homeless people. That have contracts, by the way, that were contracted to mid-2016. Really? That they are just voiding the contracts. I didn't realise it was that bad. Yeah. yeah. So They're the, basically these saying... This plan with the, you know, that they've got government contracts in place. So it's all right to can, cancel those government contracts, but you can't cancel the contracts for a road that nobody wants. Yeah. Because that'll just create uncertainty. Mayhem and uncertainty yeah. for business. Devastating. 2015, we've started this on a high. We, so, sh- we should probably pair her up a bit. Well, well, but yeah. Well, should we start with the reality? It's the reality show. But no, today. that's what we were saying when we even first started the show. Well, when you moped in here and stumbled across the start line, it was basically, <laughs> it is. Wasn't me moping? Well, you did do the intro and you barely made it through. But listen, my point is, uh, and you did make it through and I take my hat off to you. Thank you. Uh, my point is that the, it is the biggest anti climax. In a way, the in start of a new year, you know, so day, yeah. yeah, so it's okay. It's okay to feel like this. Like, I think that's something we all need to acknowledge. It's okay to feel a little bit like you're on the come So down. I think last week we described Boxing Day as the laziest day. Yeah. Could this be, in fact, be the saddest day of the year? I don't know if it's the saddest. It's the... Most disappointing? Most disappointing day of the year. Okay. Yeah. New Let's day. do that. Yeah. All right, the most disappointing day of the year, New yeah. Year's Day, twenty fifteen. So it's only the only way is up. Is up. That's right. As That's the great it. Yaz uh, belted out in the eighties, the only way is up. Hey, Hills. Have you got any New Year's resos? You, um, do you do New Year's, New Year's resos? You'd I, be. A, you totally would be because you've got such hope for your little <laughs> changes in your future yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I, I have. Um, I well, I, I suppose I should get a job. That's a pretty good resolution. Sure. I mean, Apart from the job. high-powered one that you have Apart here. Apart from stupidly small, I'm going to, as well as that, yeah. uh, work for another media company. Yeah. Um, and Do I, they know that yet? <laughs> <laughs> Hello to, uh, to uh, Mr. Packer and the gang. And <laughs> I suppose just getting healthy and, and fit. What about right. yourself? That's always that, – that mm. was, that's always a good one. I mean, that's a, a very run. boring one to have, No, but it's it? a good one. It's a good mm. one. Do you have goals though? Do you set a finish date? Do you go by X date? I should be able to run up this many stairs or whatever. Well, around uh, just before Christmas, I was thinking I might give up booze for the whole of 2015. What? But I don't. Uh, now, uh, a week later, it doesn't seem as appealing. But I'm not too sure at this stage. I don't know if I could do a whole year, but I think I might wow. need just a complete I don't know if cleanse. You could either. Because then I like going to the football and having a drink, or I like going to. Church and having a drink, or I like just going. <laughs> no, no, I do, it's is a, the church a pub? I think, I think, all right, if you're going to talk resolutions, yeah, I think it should. This is we, this will be my resolution, okay, as I tell you now on January 1st, 2015. Yeah, quality over quantity this year. Nice, I think that's a pretty way good way of looking at the that's year a and, nice, and all things. Yeah, good one, quality over quantity. But that's it. I'm jealous that you come up with that. <laughs> well, you know, I'm terribly sorry. What about yours? I don't know. I I always have ones like the one that only one that I ever really stuck to or attempted really was the year that I said that I was going to say yes to stuff. Like if people invited me somewhere, yeah. I was going to say yes. I was going to, and if and somebody go for you? really well, but the next year my <laughs> New Year's resolution was say no to more stuff because I was just the 
busiest person in the world but it was great because it meant that I tried a whole lot of different things I, I like people if someone would suggest that I write something because I write stuff but someone mm. would suggest hey well, could you write this thing for us about you know bananas or something like, oh, I don't know anything about bananas I'm not bananas. interested in bananas or but whatever it's your perspective on but bananas I had made it so good <laughs> I love that you that, that you don't like that now retrospectively makes me wonder if you've read any of the things that I've written because that's exactly what you've said about every piece of my writing. Um, but, yeah, it meant that, that then I would say yes to stuff and I'd, be, I'd say confidently yes. Yep, great, let's go. And it changed something fundamental that at that time I was finding I was being a little bit resistant to stuff. Right, well, Lauren, it is time for us to get it out. These are only summer casts and they continue yes. on for a little bit into the new year, but not a whole lot. Yes. But uh, so we're not going to do seasonal tippies because our uh, let's let's call our resolutions. You know what I'm saying yes. Tip, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, you didn't pick up on that. No, but I like I like where you're you heading. You like the quality rather than the quantity of what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were seasonal tippage. That was were, seasonal that was tippage, it. Right? Yeah. And of course, though, we we must leave you with this advice. Yes. No bombing, no footy shorts, and Lauren, your specialty. No heavy petting. Enjoy the year. Happy New Year.